everyone, welcome to AG Dolls Done Under and my What My Dolls Are Wearing video for March. So I'm going to start with Raven, we're going to go in chronological order from my first doll to my most recent doll, starting with Miss Raven. Raven is wearing a Pleasant Company Meat Outfit shirt, very uh, AG Smiles for Aspen Heights. Um, she's wearing the jeans from the sparkly tunic outfit and then some Pleasant Company soccer shoes because they kind of look like Adidas sneakers. This is AJ or Athena J. She is wearing a cardigan you saw in a recent video of mine. It's from uh, the Doll Clothing Company, I believe is her Facebook marketplace selling name. Um, and then she's also wearing a old American Girl dress and shoes. I'm not exactly sure what this set is called. Phoenix is wearing the best outfit she's ever, ever worn. She's got her hair in a claw clip, um, a old Pleasant Company American Girl brand t-shirt. She's wearing some off-brand cargo jeans and then she's also wearing some Crocs with gibbets from our generation. Um, this is the best Phoenix has ever looked. I am completely obsessed with this outfit and I never want to change her out of it. She's so cute. Sam is still wearing Mary Grace's meat outfit uh, from Valentine's Day because I have no historical clothing. She desperately needs some more. Don't look at her. It makes me sad The ever beautiful Brielle is wearing a beachy linen dress that I put together Two days ago. Um, it's lined at the top and has little tie shoulder straps And then she's wearing her meat shoes. Brielle is Leah Clark girl of the year 2016 um, And then her necklace is one that she always wears. It's a human-sized bracelet Vienna is wearing the iconic Pleasant Company fruit dress, uh, t-shirt and shoes. I believe it's called the uh, Girl of Today birthday outfit or birthday dress. It's so cute. It looks perfect on every doll, but Vienna always steals the show when she wears this outfit. Thalia is wearing the cardigan from the Island World Traveler outfit. She's wearing a D&D print dress that I made and boots from a brand sold at Myers that I bought on a recent trip to Melbourne. You can see that in my buying a rare American Girl doll video, which I uploaded in February. The beautiful Marjorie is wearing a dress that I made. It's from the same pattern as Brielle's dress, just in a light blue floral. And she's also wearing some blue jelly sandals that were a gift from my friend Blue Moon AG. Marjorie looks so pretty in this outfit. I think the blue complements her eyes as well as her hair color perfectly. Kestrel is wearing My American Girl brand meat shoes and her dress is the same print as Marjorie's only in a lighter dustier blue and it's made from a simplicity pattern for 18 inch dolls and has little puff sleeves, a loose waist and is just a really cute tee length. I love this dress on Kestrel. She wears a lot of dresses in this style and cut but I think this is one of my favorites on her. This is Robin. Robin is wearing a purple and polka dot uh, hoodie, which is an American Girl brand. She's wearing Isabel's meat pants cut to shorts that were Blue Moon AGs before me. Um, and then she's wearing some stripy purple sneakers from a Truly Me outfit. Um, I love putting Robin in this era of American Girl outfits. I think it suits her so well. And of course the blue complements her eyes. Now, Billy is channeling her inner Nikki Hoffman mixed with Back to the Future. She's wearing a red vest from a old Truly Me slash Girl of Today meet outfit. The shirt from the Our Generation skateboarding set. She's wearing shorts from Buzz and Bee on Etsy and shoes that were a gift from Mama's Dolls when I bought a big lot from her a long time ago. Now, Billy wore this outfit for a photo shoot where she went skateboarding recently, and I really love this set on her. She is my partner's favorite doll, and for good reason. She's very cool. Next up, we have Piper. Piper is wearing two little pink clips in her hair that have Kirby on them. She's wearing a Biddy Baby slash Biddy Twin a uh, long sleeve t-shirt and she's also wearing these blue overalls that I bought in that aforementioned lot from Mama's Dolls and old Truly Me meat outfit shoes. 
She looks so cute in this outfit. I always love putting Piper in pastels. They are her colors. And I've never put her in this shirt before and she looks so cute in the yellow with her gingery hair. Next up we have Jude. Jude is wearing some very comfy clothes. She's got some Basil Mentos brand shorts, which say Basil Mentos across the butt. She's wearing an American Girl Place Los Angeles uh, hoodie, and she's wearing a basic white t-shirt underneath. And no shoes, because she is in full comfy mode. She has been chilling on the couch in the dollhouse all week and looks so comfy and cozy. Esty is looking so classic and cute. She's wearing Kit's original meat outfit, her necklace from her accessories, some white Our Generation brand tights, and then her meat shoes. Now Esty looks cute in everything I put her in. I think Claudie as a doll can never look bad. She's always looking pretty, but I especially love her in this soft purple color. It's one of my favorite outfits to put on her. Next up we have my not so secret favorite girly. This is Kimberly. Kimberly is wearing a shirt that I made from a Liberty Jane baseball tee pattern. Uh, the corduroy pants from the polka dot sweater you saw Robin wearing and some Our Generation brand shoes that I swapped the laces to blue. Now I always think Kimberly looks cute in anything I put her in but this is especially cute. I love how the tone of the brown and grey sweater look with her face paint. She's got a really lovely neutral uh, lip colour and it looks so pretty in this kind of grey, brown and then a pop of blue as well. Kimberly is such a beautiful doll to have. Number 29 is genuinely one of my favorite dolls American Girl has ever released. She's such a classic beauty and I think everyone should have her in their collection. So this was originally Mella, but I renamed her Marnie recently after the Studio Ghibli film Marnie, when Marnie was there. Now Marnie is wearing a outfit that I recently made. It's a two-piece set featuring a waistcoat and a set of trousers. It's giving me Harry Styles vibes. I really love this combo. She's also wearing the retired uh, Girl of Today Meet Outfit shoes. I did have issues with these peeling and I have recently coated them in a fabric medium, usually meant to make uh, paint into fabric paint. Um, and while it was successful in containing the shed, it wasn't successful in containing the colour and there has been some dye transfer onto her feet. But luckily, my dolls are very rarely barefoot, so you won't be able to see that. Second last, we have Syra. Syra is wearing her signature rose gold glasses, Julie's meat outfit turtleneck, some uh, overalls from the glam doll. She's wearing a cardigan from the same seller who made AJ's cardigan and the Island World Traveler outfit shoes. Syra's outfit is probably one of my favorites from this set of outfits. I think it looks so cute. Um, also, Syra as a doll just looks pretty in everything I put her in. So she looks very cute in this outfit. I think it's definitely one of my favorites and it matches her glasses so well. Last but not least, I have Miss Nali. Nali is wearing a white eyelet lace crop top that I made a long time ago, as well as two new outfits that I made, including a tie front cardigan with kind of wide bell sleeves that I've scrunched up, and a tiered skirt out of a textured wool blend. She's also wearing Sage's Parade outfit shoes. Now, Sonali's outfit looks so good on her, and I've been trying to figure out her style for a little while now, and I think I've settled on this kind of whimsy goth kind of alternative look for her, with a very, like, earthy feel, but in darker colours. I think Sonali as a doll looks really, really good in grayscale, so I think I'm definitely going to stick to this as her more permanent look. And that has been all of my doll's outfits. I hope you really enjoyed this video. It was fun to do literally every single one of my dolls and what they're wearing for this month. I'm hoping to keep this up as a reoccurring thing I do on this channel, where I show you what my dolls are wearing each month of, month of the year. Let's hope I stick to it. I think my favorite outfit is a tie between Syra, Phoenix, and probably Sonali. I really love her outfit. Let me know who your favorite is in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.
Thanks so much for watching. Bye.